dear pu2 students so yes we have our final pu2 chemistry examination right now and i hope that all of you are preparing really really well now how much ever you studied in the exam the main thing that will give you mark is how you present your answers right so to help you with this today i have come up with toppers answer sheet so this student has got 69 out of 70 okay in the final board exams so i will be showing you what all things you should keep in mind how you should be answering so please watch this complete video and follow the same things in your final board exam so that you can also get good marks like this okay so first of all if we go so let me just rotate this one yes so now if you see we are in section number a okay this is 2024 paper so in section number a always remember that you should start your answer with section a okay and then you have to write the question number part a should be mentioned see uh yes so first of all part a should be mentioned you should give question number option number and you have to write the total options okay you can if you write only c b d then it will not be evaluated so we have to write the complete answer okay next we will see this is there all one marker next page we have your two marker fill in the blanks question so you may not have to write the full sentence it is not mandatory you can just write down 16th answer is molarity or oh, sorry molarity 17th whatever is there you can directly write the answer you don't have to write the fill in the blanks complete sentence even if you don't write you will get marks here so after part a is completed then only you can start the other parts okay so first of all part a should be there and one very important rule that you must uh, remember about your part a is that only first attempt one second yes only first attempt options will be counted okay so you can see here there is no cutting in the part a section okay so you will always see if you cut the answer and you write second time then that second time will not be evaluated only the first one will be evaluated so very surely if you are confident enough then only attempt otherwise write in pencil or leave some space okay that is the very 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 important if you just write cut the c and then again write d then nothing will be evaluated okay that is about part a and part b uh, sorry part a fill in the blanks and your mcq questions now it is taking a little bit time to load so don't worry okay now we will go to part b sorry yes part b mm, okay just a minute here part a is over next we have part b yes so when you are starting see it is my suggestion that go section wise because in chemistry you will have enough time to write the answers so please do not hurry or do not jumble the sections and do not write any extra questions at this point of time and in part b you have five questions you have to select any three so select those three questions and write down those three answers only okay so part b we have question suppose you have written you have to write the part again okay uh second yes you have to write the part okay then you have to write the question number okay question number the total number and the current question number and suppose for example this question was uh, the product obtained when ethyl bromide reacts with sodium iodide is dry acetone is called as your uh, finkelstein reaction so you have to write the definition of finkelstein reaction and the example of the reaction this is called as uh, this is how you should be writing a name reaction clear next if we uh, go down you can see here uh, the question was here to uh, explain halophone reaction so this is also first you have to write the statement and then the example then third we have here it was very hormone question which hormones regulate the blood glucagon and insulin simply if you write this much also you will get full marks so see this student has not wasted time at this point of time in writing extra questions when we are very sure that we will be getting full marks then why to waste time with writing extra questions so i will not recommend you to write extra questions while writing the answers after you have completed if you have doubt in certain sections you can write i will tell you how to write the extra questions also okay now after this what happens we will go to here part c 
right now part c is your three marker question the first question was your to calculate the magnetic moment right for scandium 3 plus so first you will write the electronic configuration then you will write how many unpaired electrons are there since there is zero unpaired electrons so the magnetic moment will be zero since scandium 3 plus does not have any unpaired electrons and has a noble gas configuration its magnetic moment is zero that's all you can write down okay next uh you have one more question here alloys are readily formed by transition metals due to similar atomic gravity so very to the point and here i will recommend for better presentation you can even underline this word that is similar atomic radii now we will go to uh, this is the part b oh sorry one second yes now if you see the part b you have to draw the structure of the manganate ion so this carries two mark this carries one mark so direct structure if you do you will get the marks here okay so just the structure proper structure here you can better write manganate ion below it so that will give you full marks here now if i uh, move to the next question just a minute okay so you can see here mm, okay so the next question here was okay so the next question here was about lanthanide contraction okay so if you see lanthanide contraction we can see the definition the consequences very to the point the student has not underlined the keyword i will recommend you to underline the keywords also okay next 30th question if you see here also you have to draw the simple the geometrical isomers that carries one mark and examples for ambidentate ligand that carries so this carries two marks this carries one mark you can just write down any example so that like this you can finish the three marker question now if you come here to the next three marker question you can see here another was about osmosis okay then you have henry's law question so this student you can see how neatly they have presented the answer to the point answers are written there is no more sentence forming nothing to the point answer should be written and what is asked in the question that you have to write don't write many things and create confusion for yourself and for the examiner and please focus on neat presentation you can see after every answer there is some space is left so please maintain that you can also underline the keywords that is what i would uh, like add on to this particular page okay next if you see here we have this is like physical chemistry three marker questions now i will be talking more about this five marker sections okay so just a minute okay one second yeah so now if you see in this five marker question um, okay so here obviously in five marker question generally we are asked with the mechanism so see how the student has written with wedge and dash uh, also symbol is given how the nucleophile will attack transition state is formed and the product is formed but now here you can see that the examiner has given you a question marks right for what is that because you haven't written the name suppose here it is methyl chloride here it is methanol so you have to write the name okay and this is the transition state so just mention what is happening in each of these states okay after that if you see uh, next one was also I think this one is your name reaction okay or I think fill in the blanks of the reaction that is perfectly done whatever is asked complete questions is written and two marks is awarded okay next you have me mechanism of acid catalyzed dehydration of ethanol to ethene from alcohols phenols and ethers so you have to write the steps number okay so what was step one mm. You can see step one was protonation here there is happening protonation and you can see the reversible is also given and here again a question mark is there why because it is not written what is the product here okay so please mention that okay next if i move to this side step two is your formation of carbocation okay so this is fast process and then deprotonation so each step is mentioned and but there is no mark is deducted for writing the names but yes if you write that that will give you like the if the examiner doesn't want that gives a chance for the examiner to deduct marks here the examiner didn't do but yes if you want to be on the safer side please write the products next you see what is lucas reagent it is explained and how it is used to test direct answer you can write down next if we move uh, the question here when methanol reacts with hydroxyl amine it forms oxide so what is the mistake here the question was about methanol the students have written about ethanol right you can see how this was there 
ethanol is written so that is why the and one more thing good thing you can see here the student has written the names of the products right so that you should be also writing similarly here you can see hydrogen formation propanone formation all the reactions a b very to the point clearly space is maintained like that you have to write your answer okay next we have here uh, this one that is sorry mm, okay structure here there is a mistake in the structure so complete mark is deducted so please practice the diagrams properly for the disaccharides i know it takes a lot of time but there are only three uh, disaccharides so please do it again and again again each diagram do five ten times and remember it properly okay next here amino acids what are essential amino acids that is very clear definition and if here examples are also you can write down examples also then fibrous protein examples so very very the students has written very very to the point answer here see for the question was example of fibrous protein so just like that you don't have to write any full sentence or anything if you write only keratin also you will get marks but this makes the examiner a well impressed a very good impression that okay the students knows this write the answer you can write it in that format next here okay here if you see the student has done some cutting right but it is not like haphazardly it is just simple strike is important don't use whitener here simple strike will work and this overwriting also should not be done in the exam hall okay so please prevent this is a very minute one you can ignore it but try to avoid overwriting as well okay next we have we'll go to the next question so these are how you should be attempting the five marker questions now numerical is very very important here you have to i told you three marks are there first point mark is for formula second mark is for substitution and third mark is for correct calculation with units and step 0 is to write the given value so please see here how the student has written all the given values properly and after that the student has written formula i think it will be visible to you now student has written the formula and once the formula is written after that the student has modified the formula the student has to calculate m2 right so you have taken m2 here and written the whole formula for m2 and then direct substitution the answer with units this is very very important you have to write the answer with units okay now if you see next one we have a question from nast equation okay so all the concentrations everything value was given you have to find the e cell value so e not again the formula is written correctly once the formula all the given values are written the formula and everything is written then we have this one uh yes so here a long calculation is taking place so step by step without any hurry do properly all the calculations take your time check it again each step is written if you do not write the steps also it is fine but yes for your better calculation you can do each step by step so that you don't do any mistake so this is done and now if you see here we have got the final answer with the units similarly next if i see next question another one numericals here it is there again this is from uh, electrochemistry only from the faraday's law so the students has written all the values then the mass formula everything calculated and the final answer now once you have completed the paper you can go and write the extra questions okay so you can see here you can give a heading here extra questions then you can write part b so but i recommend you write down extra questions only there where you find that marks was deducted so i am sure the part b questions which this student has attempted were very correct and he or she might also be knowing that they will get full marks so writing extra questions in part b is not that helpful i believe you can write in in five marker questions where there are chances of questions getting wrong and you can write an extra question okay part b i personally don't recommend but again it is your wish okay so whenever you write any difference between make proper table give the headings and then write down the points okay next if you see part c here this is your question from uh, Uh, to calculate the hybridization and all so first you have to write the electronic configuration electronic configuration with oxidation state and then you have this diagram then a uh, strong field ligand is there so you can write on pairing will take place then you can show the 
hybridization but here i want to recommend please do not write anything below this line okay so generally it is recommended not to write anything below this line so please keep that in mind like that you start your answer so that you don't have to write anything below the line okay then the hybridization and here also it is very point wise what is hybridization geometry and magnetic property okay similarly next question this in derivation was there for your uh, first order rate equation right so you can write down here derivations okay and okay one more very important thing for derivation is always always use reacted okay for derivation use the letter r do not use a please use r okay that is recommended in this uh, particular exam i don't know whether it was there before or not but in the exam in the chemical kinetics all questions you should use r and p only okay not a b c for the gaseous uh, phase derivation you can use a gives b plus c but in the reactant for zeroth order and first order always write down r gives p okay so you can see here how neatly the student has done there were some errors but they have cut the cutting should also be very neat okay next you can see here this side uh yes this side if you see the next question here yeah this reaction gabriel thalamide is completely wrong so we'll get zero marks here so you have to always mention the part when you are writing the extra question and then you have to write the answer okay next if you see here where i'm talking about where the marks have been deducted here the student has got full marks in this question it was written everything correctly right now we can see here okay part e some extra numericals also the student did so that is not required if you are very sure if you are not sure then only go for the extra questions otherwise don't do okay and in chemistry exam you will get extra time because there are less questions and more time i personally feel so whichever questions you are very sure please go and write only those questions okay so that's all about paper presentation so basic tips that you should be following is to start section wise second thing mention the section before every section you are writing third thing whenever you are writing derivations or anything for uh, chemical kinetics use r and p fourth thing cutting should be very neat don't make it uh, dirty by cutting by scratching so just a single strike is okay then uh, yes then use single color pen throughout the paper leave some spaces between the answers and try to underline the highlight Uh, underline and highlight the keywords okay do not use highlighter or anything whitener is also not required only by pen same color pen you can highlight it okay diagram should be properly leveled if any graph is required that also should be properly leveled so this was a basic introduction uh, basic tips that you should be following so please keep these things in mind and if you have any doubt please comment down i'll definitely address it okay thank you for watching and all the very best for your exams